guys, my name is Ritu Sachdev and today here in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we can give very cool effects to our social icons when we hover on them by using CSS3 transform and animation property. Before we start, let me show you up the final preview. See here, I have few social icons and when I hover them, they rotate. For more of demo, you can also visit my own website http www.rithusachdev.com See here I have few social icons and when I hover them, they rotate. So, let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CS6 and the document on which we are going to work. Here I am with very basic coding. See, I have a div with an ID of images. I have few images inside this div and I have applied a very basic CSS to it. Width I have is of 400, margin left auto, margin right auto. As I want them to be in center of document. You can position according to your need. As generally social icons are on the top right of web page. You can also float them right. Now first let me give this image is a class. Say I want to give a class with the name of IMGS. Let me just copy this class and paste it on every image. In a moment, we are going to define this class and let me go to style tag inside my head section as I am using internal style sheet dot imgs column hover as we are going to give animation when we hover on these images it is also called as pseudo class Now the animation I want is first the name of animation. The name of animation I want to give is rotate. Time I want to have is animation for 2 seconds. Speed curve I want is linear that is with the same speed. And I want to loop it in finite time. That is iteration count. Now it's a CSS3 property. So we must add all the necessary prefix for all the browsers. Say so WebKit for Chrome and Safari. Let me just copy it and paste it for WebKit. Mose for Mozilla Firefox. Let me paste up the same property. Right now I am using prefix for only these browsers. But you should have necessary prefix for all the browsers. Say O for Opera, MS for Internet Explorer and a regular syntax also. And obviously these syntax also for Chrome and Safari and for Firefox. Now this is just how we want our animation to be. Now let's start giving animation. At the rate key frames. This animation property works on keyframes like we have in Adobe Flash. Now the name of animation 
I have is rotate. So after this keyframe, let's have rotate. Now when my animation is at 0%, I want to have transform rotate 0 degree. That is no rotation. And when my animation is at 100%, I want to transform rotate 360 degree. Again, this is a CSS3 property. So, let me just copy it, paste it and have necessary prefix for all browsers. Say WebKit for Chrome and Safari. Again, transform property, CSS3 property. So, again, let me have WebKit. Now let's also have it for Mozilla Firefox. Let me copy it, paste it. Instead of WebKit, let me have Moose. As I said earlier, you should have all the necessary prefix for all the browsers. Now let's save up this much. First, let's preview in. Chrome. See now, we have our rotating icons. When I hover them, they rotate. Now, let's also preview up in Firefox. See. When I hover them, they rotate. So, this is done friends. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me in online sessions, do contact me. Do not forget to subscribe me. Have a good day.